All right, no matter how much you diet or how much weight you lose, it's one of the hardest areas to lose that jiggle in your body. We're talking about that double chin, but now there's hope in a new FDA-approved treatment for neck fat. It's called, is it Kybella, doctor? Kybella. Kybella. It's a series of small injections that destroy fat cells. All right, two patients are about to get the procedure right now. Yes. With so board squeamish. certified plastic surgeon Brian Glad and the assistance of nurse Caitlin Peter Paul. One of those patients is this gentleman, 35 year old Peter On. About three months ago, Peter decided he wanted to lose weight. Father of two has dropped almost 20 pounds. Good for you. But he says the pockets of fat under his chin haven't budged. So he's decided it's time to try a different way to slim his chin. Oh, and welcome to everybody. Hey, welcome. <laughs> All right, this is really happening right now, it's huh? It's really happening. Okay, so Peter, why is he a good client or patient for this type of procedure? Well, Peter's out, is the perfect um, person for this kind of procedure. He's relatively fit. He's been dieting. He's been exercising. And he cannot get rid of the fat underneath his neck. Is it genetic a lot, always, or it's sometimes? Not always genetic, but you like to think that someone is somewhat optimized. They've tried diet. They've tried exercise. Mm -hmm. And it's somewhat of a last option, similar to liposuction. All right. So you've numbed him up. And how many sessions is he going to need? At least two usually up to four, most. So what happens? You're injecting what? Like, what's going on here? The Kybella is made out of something called deoxycholic acid, fancy word. It's basically a natural molecule that we already have in our body that dissolves fat. And so when you inject it, the, the agent itself is actually dissolving his fat, destroying the fat cells so that they can't reaccumulate fat. And, and it, it goes out through your uh, lymphatic through your, system? Correct, excreted through your system. And what's really interesting is the results last despite weight gain over the years. Oh, so, so you, you won't need to do it again? You will not need to do it again. Okay, so you're going to do it right now? I'm going to do it right now. Okay. And I people can't. need to know how much it costs because that's <laughs> Yeah, how much is it? It varies around the country. We know. It varies around the country. Somewhere probably between $1,200 to $2,000 a treatment, wow. which probably adds up all in somewhat less than what it would be for liposuction without the recovery that you'd get from surgery. If someone wanted to use this exact system somewhere else on their body, does it work or is it just for your chin? It's not FDA approved for that. Great this. question. It's not FDA approved for that. Would it work? It probably would work. There are some... There are some nuances where it may not be able to be used in some areas, and it hasn't been formally investigated in that way yet. Okay, okay. so as you're injecting, um, there are some things you should, the, there are some drawbacks, obviously. Nothing is without risk. What are some of the risks? The risks for um, Kybella are very minor, actually. It's usually some swelling, um, possibly some redness, could be some bruising, mm -hmm. although the local anesthesia does help that. It constricts okay. the blood vessels. Are you nervous? Uh, well, only because I'm on TV. You can hold okay. <laughs> oh, me. Okay, tell us if it hurts. Thank I can't you. look because I don't like looking at you. You tell me when. All right. All right. So oh, Pete's, no, don't look. Pete's all don't numbed up. And what looking. we do is we place a series of dots here. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. before I start. It? Are you feeling it, Peter? I don't feel anything. Oh, good, good. Doesn't feel anything. Can you feel me okay. squeezing your hand? Mm -hmm, I can feel that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and as I move along, I'm putting a little bit into each segment. Now, I'm actually not going through the dot because I would not want to place a tattoo yeah. into his okay. neck. Okay. Mm. Hold, Sorry, hold, is that hold, enough? I can't let the doctor do You guys are going to go I know. I just don't want to faint. So I'm looking over. Oh, it's dribbling just a There's no blood. There's no blood. He's doing oh, that's great. unfortunate. Okay. All right, Kate, right. I'll take so, one more. Oh, you're doing another one? Well, there's I more little bumps. Yeah, no, there's, keep, no, get rid of that. No, keep going. Pete wants to get rid of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here we go. So it's pretty quick. It's pretty mm -hmm. it's easy. Done, right. It's almost it's done, Pete. It's almost done. Oh, my God. You only have to do it three more, more times. Raw. Hopefully just once. I mean, Pete's neck is a little bit more full. Okay. So he might have one more after that. I'm good. He's we're darn good looking, though. Right. So we're going to bring. We're going to talk about our next patient. This is important. 53-year-old mother of two, Marie Singer. She said she's always been health conscious and she exercises regularly, but her double chin was yeah. bothering her. So when her husband Dave you threw okay? her her yeah, surprise, okay. surprise 50th birthday party, she said the photos didn't match the way she felt. Yeah. So she works in Dr. Glatt's office. Two days a week, providing skin care services for his patients. And look who just now is in the chair. Isn't that amazing? Hi. Hi. Peter, Peter's just fine. And Peter's fine. Okay. Yeah, and he's actually even taking here. pictures. He's, back he's okay. good. He's now, good. Marie, did it hurt you when you went through the first time? No, I have to tell you, I felt very little of anything, just the initial injection for the numbing. Yeah. Okay. By the way, you can already see a difference. I'm sorry, but I was just looking at the earlier pictures of you. Right. Do you feel it? You feel the difference? I do. I do, and I love it. Okay, so this is her second procedure. Her second procedure. Second. You're going to have to bring us back in six weeks. Yes. We, yeah. We are, and you feel really good? You feel could great. feel the difference I right feel away? great. Yep. Did anything weird happen to you after? Did Nothing. You? A little tingling, a little numbness um, for about two or three days. And, and you that was it. it. 
And I went out with my day. I went back to work. You can go, so you can go back to work right after mm -hmm. this. Kind of you are a little swollen. swollen. Okay. Yeah. And do you, you just ice it and it goes away? Yeah. yeah. This is unbelievable. I, know. I like the fact that it's a natural and already found in your, yeah. in your right. system. Right, you can come already. over here. Come on. Come on over. Don't, we don't want to leave you out. <laughs> so we're not going to. We're not going to do that here. But thank you so much. He's going to we do really it for her here, though, right? In the commercial. Yeah. In the commercial. Absolutely. All right. Thank you all very much. And Pete, you were a champ. You were a champ. You were awesome. So we want to check back in with Peter and Marie, who got Kybella injections to remove extra okay. chin fat. What, They're going to be back in a couple of weeks. What about these two ladies? We yeah. need it. You need it. <laughs> we don't have the money for it. <laughs> they won't pay for it. Can you just say that? Yeah. Can you just give us a little something? She doesn't need it. She's gorgeous. We're going to share their report.